Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Room Classic CC lets you apply flags to photos. When you use flags to tag a photo, only three designations are possible. The photo can be flagged as a pic, the photo can be set as rejected, or the photo is unflagged. Used in conjunction with filtering, flags provide yet another tool for organizing and managing your catalog. Unlike other tags like keywords, flag states are not saved to XMP. They are only available and visible within your Lightroom Classic CC catalog. You can apply flags using a number of different methods. To set flags using the menu bar, click to select one or more photos in the grid view. Then choose Photo, Set Flag from the menu bar, and choose the appropriate designation from the side menu that appears. You can use this same method to apply a flag to a thumbnail you choose from the film strip. However, as is the case when applying stars, you must apply flags one at a time when you work from the film strip. If you set a flag after selecting multiple photos in the film strip, the flag is only applied to the active photo. You can only apply flags to multiple selected photos using the grid, regardless of the method you use. You can also set flags using your keyboard. To do this, click to select a photo in the grid view or film strip. To flag the image as a pic, press the P key on your keyboard. To flag the selected image as rejected, press the X key. If you hold down the Shift key while pressing P or X, Lightroom Classic CC applies the flag and then selects the next photo in the catalog. You can quickly flag a number of contiguous photos by continuing to press the Shift key as you apply flags. In the grid view, you can also click the flag icon that appears in the upper left corner of a thumbnail mat to apply the pick flag. You can click the icon again to unflag the photo. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click to apply the reject flag using this method. If you don't see the flag icon in the upper left corner of the mat, refer to the lesson titled Showing Flags, Ratings, and Labels earlier in the chapter for instructions. In both the Compare view and the Survey view, you can apply flags by clicking the flag icons that appear just below the bottom left corner of the image. In either view, clicking the flag icon on the left sets the photo as a pic. The flag on the right sets the photo as rejected. After clicking either icon, you can click it again to remove the flag. You can also use the Library Module Toolbar to set flags. To do this, click to select a photo from the grid view or the film strip. Then click the desired flag in the toolbar. If you do not see flag icons appear in the toolbar, Select Flagging from the Toolbar menu. You can also set flags using the Painter tool. To do this, click to activate the Painter tool in the toolbar. Then choose Flag from the Paint menu in the toolbar. Select one of the flag settings in the toolbar to specify which flag status to apply. Then click within the grid to apply the flag with the Painter tool. You can click one thumbnail at a time, or you can click and drag to apply the same flag to a series of photos. You can also choose a different flag status in the toolbar while the Painter tool is still active, and then continue applying flags. When you're finished using the Painter tool, click the circular well to the left of the Paint menu to deactivate the tool. You can also use the Refine Photos command to mark unflagged photos as rejected, and mark picked photos as unflagged. This can be helpful if you want to quickly change the flag status of many photos at once. To do this, click to select a folder or a collection from the Folders panel or the Collections panel. Then select Library, Refine Photos from the menu bar. A dialog box asks you to confirm your choice. Click the Refine button to complete the operation. To select flagged photos in the grid view or the film strip, choose Edit, Select Flagged Photos from the menu bar. You can also choose Edit, Deselect Unflagged Photos to deselect all unflagged photos in the grid view or film strip. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.